สวัสดีค่ะ Hi Okay first of all I am okay I didn't hurt myself <laughs> my husband asked me if I hurt my note I put my paper not my paper the paper towel under here because of the grasses push down on my nose and that is hurt so this is prevent hurting <laughs> okay the reading today okay you need 11 keep it a secret writing secret messaging is fun not messaging messages writing secret messages is fun it isn't difficult to learn how to do it all you need is a code a code is a way of changing your words so that other people can figure them out. One easy way to write secret messages is just to turn the whole world around. This is called the turnaround code. The words are spelled backwards. The word come looks like E M O C. Emoc, emoc, okay. The word to would like would look like odd. <laughs> Maybe you can figure out the message. Emocs. Odd. Oh my gosh. MS. I don't know. Can you? No, I can't. A second way to write secret messages is just to add one letter to the beginning and one letter to the end of a word. You can add whatever two letters you want. The word come would then look like Circle bit <laughs> blocks off the first and last letter, and you will see the real word. The word look could be spelled Luga, Luga, <laughs> or Trugi, or lots of other ways. Just add two letters. Now you know the addition code. A more difficult code uses both the turnaround and the addition codes. Here's how to use it. Let's try writing the word hide. First turn it around so that it is spelled backwards. Now it's spelled E it. Next, you add one letter to the beginning and one to the end. You may add any two letters you wish. Now it is could look like Fady Ho or J Jit <laughs> depending on what letters you add it. To figure out words in this code, take off the first and last letters and read the, the word backwards. Now you know how to keep your secret message a secret. As we say in our turnaround attitude code, I don't get it. <laughs> it is hard to read <laughs> because it's not even the real words, right? Okay, thank you for listening and for all of you who practice English. Keep practicing, don't give up. Bye.